Hey class, it's Bill with the fourth video in this series, and maybe the last, but I guess not because we'll probably do a testing video, but we're, we're very close to the end of our problem that we're trying to solve here, which is our menu program with the functions to do temperature conversions. We've really come a very long way, and the only thing that we know that's left so far is that the menu doesn't loop. Once you make a choice and it does your conversion, it gets out. So we know we want a menu or a loop, and so how do we, when, when you're looking with loops, the couple things you need to think about. One is what stuff goes inside the loop and what stuff goes outside the loop. So for instance, do we need to create a new scanner every time through the loop? No. Do we need a variable for choice every time through the loop? No. Uh, and in fact, we could probably move these guys up here too, right? Because we probably don't need to do that each time. Those are probably uh, fine. Now, it is okay to create uh, variables inside a loop if you want to create them each time, right? You want to create and discard them each time, but we don't really need to do that. Do we want to display the menu each time through? Yes, we do. So basically we know loop starts here, right? And where does the men where does the loop stop? Well, we can look down and we say, well, we've got to process we've got to get the valid input, we've got to process the choices. We know goodbye doesn't go in the loop, but probably everything else does. So we might want to say loop stops here. Right? So we know where the loop needs to go, but we now need to figure out what kind of loop and how to make a condition that makes sense. So that's the, our, next, our next job. Again, we have two kinds of loops here that we have at our disposal. One is a while loop, and a while loop is great when you don't know whether you need to proceed even once or you need to do partial things, right? You sometimes need to do some stuff, but maybe not other stuff. A while loop is really your choice for that. But there's another kind of loop, a do while loop, and the do while says, I'm, I know that I'm going to do all of this stuff at least once, right? And then I may not need to do it a second time, but I certainly need to do it once. Now, what kind of loop do we need here? Well, with our menu system, we know we want to display the menu and at least get a choice once, right? You, you want to show them at least one time. So a do loop is perfect here. In the Python world, we didn't have this option of a test at the bottom loop, so we did some artificial things to make it work, which you can always do. Uh, you can always use a while loop, but a do loop is more clever and easier. Now, I know I, I take out the line that says loop starts here. I put do, I open my bracket, I come down here where it says loop stops here, I close my bracket, and then, oops, and then I just need to say, oh, if I can type a close, that would be good. Okay, then I need to say, now did I just, did I miss something else? Okay, I don't know what I did. Okay, so I close my bracket and it caused, there we go, that looks a little better. Uh, although something looks wrong with my indentation, but we'll figure that out in just a second. Okay, so that's where my bracket goes and uh, we will now need to figure out the choice. So how do we know when we're done? What's the condition that continues, that, that we know we need to continue looping for? Well, we know that we're going to put the word while because this is a do while loop. We know we need parentheses just like ifs. And now, what is the thing that lets us get out? Well, when they choose zero, they get out. So we want to continue looping while choice is not zero. And then we know at the end, once we're here, we know we want to get out. And that can go tabbed back here. There we go. Oh, I got weird tabs. Okay, so that's setting up this loop. And then I'm going to go and say, hey, do my auto layout because that'll help me a lot. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so auto layout is your friend. Uh, if you've done it right, at least if you've got all your brackets right, it will actually make stuff work. And you'll notice that you get nice color coding. So I see here that the while is in a pink thing. And I go out here and there's, okay, yeah, there we go. There's the start of the pink thing. There's the end of the pink thing. And then system print out is within the yellow thing and the yellow thing is the class, right? Is the is the main function. So cool. So now we have our loop set up, and we think it's going to continue looping and, uh, while the choice is not zero. So it should let us out and only say goodbye after. So we think we have the right loop. Let's compile. Looks right. Let's run and see if we can do everything we need to do. Okay. So what's our choice? I want to do a Fahrenheit to Celsius. Let me do one that I know works. Two hundred and twelve. Fahrenheit, 
100. That sounds right. Okay, Fahrenheit to Kelvin. Uh, let's take the 212 there and see what that yields. Um, converted temperature is 100. Uh, that doesn't seem right. I think something is wrong with that particular one, so we have a bad call in there. Uh, how about Celsius to Fahrenheit? How about 100? All right, 212. Okay, so you want to test all those guys and make sure you have them. Uh, something looks definitely wrong with uh, with the Fahrenheit to Kelvin, but we'll go and fix that up. But notice, uh, let me put bad input, so let me type negative 2. It just shows the menu again. Okay, how about uh, Bill? Okay, just lets me type again. Bad data, 53.5, just lets me type again. So we actually have the thing working pretty darn well. Now, it's a little inconsistent with how it works with bad data versus, uh, versus out of range data. So we might want to clean that up a little bit to make it more consistent for the user. But in general, it's working. And if I put zero, goodbye. So we have the program generally working as we want it now, and we need to go figure out what's going on with that one call. Uh, my guess is, yeah, it's just making the wrong call. Yeah, there we go, because it looked too familiar. So probably that'll, that'll take care of our problem and, uh, and be fine. So uh, this is a fairly complex program, right? We've got a lot of tech in it. We've got uh, selection control structures. We've got nested selection control structures. We've got loops of two different kinds. We're using uh, conditions. We've set up conditions. Some of them are simple like this. Some of them are more complex like this, using logical operators like AND. Uh, we have scanner look ahead. We really have a huge amount of new technology, new learning in this uh, in this project. So I encourage you to stop, think about this, work this through yourself, watch back the videos and see if you have any questions. But I think we've really solved what we set out to do here in the demonstration, making a nice menu-based program and doing a lot of guarding, right? We, we're, we're doing things pretty well, maybe not as elegantly in terms of the user interface, but we can fix that up. That's easy enough. Now, what I would really like to do is, uh, and I will do, is to create an extra little video on testing because we've created a bunch of functions and you notice that I'm going back and doing a little testing here and there to make sure they're working but wouldn't it be cool if we wrote some code to do that testing for us so before we even got to calling those things we would know how to we would know that all of those were correct in terms of what the functions actually do. When you're copying these functions from some uh, you know, formulas, we could very easily get things wrong. And so it would be really great to test these things and know that they're right and be able to just run another method to do the testing. So I may create another video on the testing piece of this because I think it's really useful and you will be expected to write testing code, certainly when we get to objects. And so uh, we might as well kind of broach that subject now but otherwise this is uh, the end of our little demo in terms of getting this program working so thanks for watching let me know if you have questions in email or in the forums and we will continue in the next video but that will focus only on testing thanks